This is the best defense to use in Madden 24. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive in it. It shuts down the run. It's instant sacks. <laughs> and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense, I'm using results like this. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back oh. on the street. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video are once again found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. I haven't used my Philadelphia Eagles since they signed Kevin Bird, Julio Jones, and beat the Cowboys in prime time, so I had to use my team once more before I pick a new team to use. So let me know in the comments section what teams you guys would like to see me use next. The teams that have the most requests, oddly enough, are the Niners and the Bengals, two good teams. And I'm leaning towards using the Niners since I'm going to start using my new Niners ebook pretty soon. So if you guys want to see more gameplays and more defensive videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button. The defense that today's video is about is once again the 3-4 odd, which is a defense that I have been making videos about before and after it was patched, as this formation has changed a lot throughout the year. But I'm going to use two brand new coverages that might be the best in the entire formation. For my four play setup, I still use a lot of the same plays in the scheme, the pinch buck zero when I want to send the most heat. I use the cover for quarters for my best run defense as well as my best red zone and goal line defense. But for my new base defense, I'm going to use the cover three seam. I still use the cover six from time to time, but this defense only has matching principles for the cover four side, making the cover two side much weaker. But the cover three seam is a true matching defense throughout the entire play, which is why I started using this defense more and more. And for my fifth and active play, I choose the saw blitz one, which is a perfect complement to the cover three since they both have a single high safety and will look the same. For my coaching adjustments, the two most important are to set my zone coverage to match and leave your zone drops to default to get the most out of the matching principles of the cover three defense. And I also like to set my auto alignment to base so that all my defenses look the same before the snap, forcing my opponent to read the defense after the play starts, making it much more difficult. The setup for the cover three defense couldn't be easier as all you really have to do is blitz all linebackers, which is d-pad to the left and down the right stick. And that's pretty much it. Doing this will leave you with only five zone coverages, including yourself as a user, as I will use her whichever blitzing middle linebacker is closest to the side of the field with the most receivers and since he has four receivers on the left side of the quarterback and only one to the right side that means that there's an 80 percent chance that the play is going to happen on this side and on the very first play kevin byard does more in this game than he has done in real life for the eagles so far this season gotcha, bitch. as we get a pick six on the very first play of the game he could go all now if we go back to the replay, you can see that my opponent was running a vertical concept, which typically this wheel route will get open underneath the cover three cornerback, but since he didn't know it was a cover three before the play starts, it took him too long to realize it, and he threw the ball late for an interception. But we can also see that the blitz forced the interception, as this B-gap defender was running right through the middle and forced an early throw. Now my opponent does what most people do in this situation, down an early touchdown, as he becomes a panic passer and starts chucking it all over the field from hurry up. I stay with the cover three blitz on the next play as he tries to run the inside zone Bring that ass here, boy. and get stuffed at the line before the pressure forces a bad pass to get him to a quick third and ten. He tries to hit a screen pass on the next play but I'm all over it as I almost get an interception to force a fourth and long as he decides to go empty backfield which cover three is naturally weak against as this spread three wide receiver look leaves the seams wide open and I was hoping the pressure would just get in fast as he gets a big first down from here I still want to get pressure so I switch to the pinch bug zero and almost get another interception on the screen play before going back to the cover three blitz and getting a huge instant b-gap sack watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. To push him back to a third and a mile. He calls a hurry up again as the pressure forces another bad decision to end the game. Gotcha, bitch. See ya. And my next game is a rematch against the Dallas Cowboys as it feels like I'm reliving all the Eagles' recent moments with Byron making a big play and the Eagles beating the Cowboys in prime time. I started this game out on offense this time and I'll be using the I-Form Close scheme that I put out once again, but I will also mostly be focusing on defense in this video. I did make a full breakdown and several gameplays about this offense though, so if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. From this offense, I like to relentlessly pound the rock, which is something I wish the Eagles could go back to doing in real 
life. As we get a big first down before I see that he's running cover one man from the 5-2, and I decide to pass. So I select the play that I don't use very often in the PA deep read to get the first down before trying to go right back to it and not seeing that he was playing underneath on the very next play. Oops! Back on defense, I'm using the exact same setup, only this time I start the game out using the pinch bug zero. And it works on the first play as we get a big sack, but now on the second play as he gets all that back and then some for the first down. I try to never use the same play too many times in a row with this scheme, as it's best to mix up your defenses so that your opponent can't get into the rhythm. But I also like to try to blitz someone to death early in a game to see if they can handle it, so I definitely called this defense too many times in a row as he breaks a huge run to the outside and almost scores before we barely stop him inside the five. From here, I switch to the cover for quarter defense is this is the only defense where the safeties play the run first making it feel like a nine-man run commit and the four deep zones do a really good job of filling the end zone and taking away most passing lanes the setup for this play is simply to pinch the defensive line to take away outside run lanes and to spread the linebackers so that they have outside leverage to maintain the edge for outside run plays and on first and goal he goes backwards <laughs> Sit down and study! After that clear message, you would think that he wouldn't run again, but he does, and he almost gets a fall forward animation for the score. That was a close one. As he gets down to the one yard line before we guess run on the next play and push him back to where he started. <laughs> He lines up as if he's going to go for it from here, but we all know how that turned out the last time the Cowboys tried that. Each time I looked around, the walls moved in a little tighter. Out. As Dak has a flashback and decides to take the points instead. What a pussy. I'm not going to try any more experimental plays as I start to drive off pounding the rock with a stretch run. What? Before switching to the PA tight end leak, getting my tight end wide open outside to get in the field goal range. And then right back to pounding the rock as we get another first down. Things get tight in the red zone though as he starts to shut down my run. So I switch to the PA deep cross go, which is an unstoppable route that I made a video about just yesterday as we punch it in to take the lead. On defense, we start the next drive by using the cover three once again, which we didn't use at all the first drive, as we were stuck in pinch buck blitz mode. And good things happen when we switch to this defense, as we get a sack on the very first play. Only this time from the edge, as pressure can come from multiple areas. He attacks my flats on the next play to get to third and long before coming out in an empty backfield look once again. But the pressure actually gets in this time and saves the day. <laughs> as we force a punt from deep inside his own territory. Back on offense, I decided to switch offenses to the gun stack wide flex as I need to get down the field in a hurry, and we barely get enough yards to force a 61-yard field goal before the end of the half, a career long for Jake Elliott as he banks it off the upright to take a 7 point lead in the half. I start the second half being aggressive once again, blitzing from under center, and I've been noticing when using this blitz that sometimes the other blitzing linebacker would get in unblocked, but sometimes the B gap would open up right in front of me on my side, meaning that if I drop into coverage, the blitz would get picked up. So now I decide to watch for that animation and be ready. So if this gap opens up in front of me on my side, I have to take it and blitz myself. And on the next play, I see that look, so I jump the gap, and I'm glad I did. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back Come on. The As we get the scoop and score to take a big lead. Now up two scores, I wanted to use a better pass defense, so I switched to the Saw Blitz 1, as I feel man coverage is still one of the best ways to go in pass coverage. For this play, I'm going to base a line showing my coverage, and I'm also going to shift the line to the right so that I can get this defensive end off free. As all I have to do is use the linebacker that's covering the running back, put him on a blitz, and hover the B gap before dropping back into coverage. If the running back goes down a pattern, he is my responsibility, but if he blocks, I can cover whoever I want. And you can see how easily the edge defender gets in free. Oh, we can go! I run again on the next two plays and I almost get sacks off the edge and interceptions on both of them as the pressure was coming and the pass coverage was tight as well before he catches my inability to cover the running back a few times which is probably this play's biggest problem. Forcing me back to the cover three defense one more time and ending the game. But I'll keep working on that cover one in hopes of bringing you guys more at a later date. Gotcha, bitch. If you guys want to see more about the offenses and defenses I was using in this video, I will have breakdowns of them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.